Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Mark Stewart from the Mission Hill Baptist Church in Hayesville, North Carolina, coming to you again with uh, one of our short Bible studies and uh, something that uh, we should take great consideration. Uh, in Matthew chapter number four, if you want to be uh, finding uh, your place in, in the scripture, we're going to be talking today about uh, soul winning, about uh, witnessing uh, to those that are lost, those that are round about us. Uh, this is the main purpose of the church. The main purpose of the church is not to see how big our buildings can become. Uh, it's uh, not to entertain people, certainly. Our main purpose that Jesus left us here, his last command should be our first concern. And that command was, go. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. The whole purpose of our being empowered by the Holy Spirit is that we would be witnesses unto him. The Holy Ghost is not used... Uh, for our entertainment. Uh, he is the one that empowers you and I to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now look with me in Matthew chapter number four today, and uh, I'll begin reading in uh, verse number 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men." And they straightway left their nets and followed him. I, I, I want to again look at uh, uh, th these verses uh, and look specifically at what Jesus asked from his disciples uh, when he was making them disciples. Uh, from that time, when Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he was there in the place to find those fishermen. He was there to find Peter and Andrew, and there to call them. And he saith unto them, follow me. And I began to think of what it really means. And he said, I will make you fishers of men. So if we follow him, he will make us fishers of men. Have you ever thought about what it entails for us to truly follow him? He said, follow me, follow me. Now, I, I, I looked at the same uh, story in the book of St. Mark and uh, chapter number one and uh, verse number 15 and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. This is the same story, the exact same time. Uh, this is when he found them, too, Simon and Andrew, and he found them next to the Sea of Galilee, and he found them casting their net into the sea. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Come ye after me. Now Matthew uh, says, Follow me. And Mark says, Come ye after me. Uh, following is not simply just a walking behind. He said, come ye after me in the book of Mark. Uh, I, I'm reminded of uh, uh, the psalmist David, you know, when he talked about uh, as a heart paineth 
after the water brook, how he, he is uh, so desiring to get to where that water brook is. He is coming after uh, that. And Jesus said, come ye after me. Come ye after me, following hard after God. Uh, not just, uh, again, simply lagging behind in the crowd. Uh, you know, Peter, uh, after uh, that Jesus was taken uh, after the great betrayal of Judas, followed a great way off. He, could you say that he was following the Lord? Well, he was following him, but he certainly wasn't really coming after him. He was following a great way off. Peter was so far away from the Lord. So when Jesus said, follow me, he's not talking about at a great distance. He's talking about drawing closely to him. The Lord wants us to draw closely to him. And he said, I will make you fishers of men. The promise is that Jesus said, if you come after me, if you follow me, I will make you. Now, if we have truly uh, been saved and if we have really been coming after God, one thing is bound to happen in our life. Jesus is going to make us fishers of men. He said uh, in the book of Mark, uh, he said, uh, um, you know, come ye after me and I will make you to become fishers of men. Now listen, to be a, a true soul winner for God, to, to really, uh, uh, you know, be able to, uh, you know, win people. Now this is a lifelong work and becoming this fisher of men that Jesus is talking about uh, is not something that happens to us instantaneously. Uh, just like becoming a fisherman, uh, just because you catch one fish, it doesn't really necessarily make you a fisherman. But it's when you uh, truly invest yourself in this, when your uh, life is given over to that and you, you learn more about fishing, you learn more about the water, you learn more uh, about the places to go and uh, you know, how to hook. And I'm speaking as a man and I'm speaking as concerning fishing. Uh, but I, I think it's, uh, you know, sort of the same way when we talk about winning men. We learn from our mistakes. There have been times that I've witnessed people and I thought, I wish that I would have said this. Uh, I saw this in them and I could have taken that opportunity at that time and it's the Lord trains us to know how to become sensitive to him. Uh, you know, being fishers of men is not all about them men that we're fishing for. It's about the man who has sent us to fish. It's about Jesus who said, I am going to make you fishers of men. We certainly want to win the souls we certainly want to go after those men, but we want to pay attention to the man that is making us the fishers of men that he meant for us to be. I hope this has been a blessing to you today, and I really pray that you would pray for me. I'll be praying for you that God would help us to truly follow after him, to come after him, and let him Make us to be fishers of men. May God bless you today.